Hey everyone, how you all doing? Blue here, back with another Minecraft build tutorial. Today we're going to be heading back to our little village and we're going to be doing the interior inside the tavern slash inn. Now I know this has been a highly requested tutorial, so with that being said, let's get building. Okay, we're going to start from the ground floor and work our way up. So as you come in the front door here, we're going to have a bar over the side there, a kitchen here, and then some tables kind of dotted throughout the rest of the area. So starting over at the back here, let's go ahead and change the flooring for the kitchen. Starting from the left hand corner here, we're going to place some stripped oak logs going in sideways like this, making sure we face the same way the whole time. Then we're going to place them in the gaps on the next row and then the opposite gaps again on the next row. And then on this last one, we're going to just do it the same again. Then we're going to turn this way and filling in the gaps. We're going to face the same way the whole time. And we're going to just place them going in like this. On the last row here, we can just turn around to place these last two in here. Now on this wall here, we're going to go ahead and leave a one block gap, break these two for a minute and then these two. At the very bottom, we're just going to place down two of our redstone torches and then we're going to just put our logs back in place like this. Place two campfires like this. Then we're going to go ahead and we're going to put a beehive this side and then this side. Place in an iron trapdoor here and here. On top, just place any two random blocks. It doesn't matter which ones. And then we're going to place a um, a rail on top. Sorry, guys. We're going to place one minecart, then break the block underneath. Then we're going to place the second minecart, break the block underneath. Don't try placing them both together because they just end up pushing each other out of the way. So make sure you do one at a time. Now, where this block is here, we're going to go to the bottom part of the block above, place in an iron trap door on both of those. And then on the block above that, we're going to place in some of our pistons and then just use a redstone torch, activate them and then go ahead and remove all of that. And then that should give you a nice kind of little cooker from the top here, which is smoking, which makes it look like it's being used. Now back to our beehives, we're going to go one, two, three, four, I think five we're going to place. And we think we'll leave it like that for the moment. Now, where this pillar is here, we're going to go diagonally. So right in front of this beehive, place one pillar going all the way up. Leave a one block gap to the side and then place another one. Then we're going to leave a three block gap, placing one here, which will be diagonally from this pillar here. And take that all the way to the ceiling. Then, using your spruce planks, just go ahead and put some across the top like this. Now, using your spruce stairs, just place three underneath here and one just underneath there like that. Now inside here, we're going to go ahead and just kind of turn this into a little bit of a, a bit of a nicer kitchen. So first of all, in the corner here, let's just place a spruce plank there and one above it for the moment. We're going to place barrels, which would be one block down here, coming all the way across till we reach the window. Then I think we'll place one more over here like this, and then we're going to get our spruce planks and just fill them around that top edge like so. Now, I think we're going to actually just continue that all the way around to this side here, but not against this back wall here. Okay, now that gives us a little bit more of shape in here. Now, I think I'm going to add one more beehive just there, and then I'm going to put in a barrel here, and then one, two, three barrels across here. And then I think we could maybe just put a couple there. Would that look okay? I think that'll work. Then we're going to go ahead, put in a couple of cauldrons, a couple of trapdoors just in front of the cauldrons, a brewing stand on the side here. Then over here, we're going to place two of our lanterns and we're going to put two trapdoors here to kind of look a little bit like some kind of extractor. Then up the top here, place some upside down stairs, bring it all the way around to there. And then we can just place one, two, three, and we should have a lantern just in the middle there to lighten up the kitchen. And I think that looks pretty good. 
Now on the outside edge here, I'm going to place three upside down stairs just like this, just to give us a kind of little window, so a little serving hatch for food. And then on the inside here, we just want to decorate this and make this look a little bit nicer. Now, if you're not keen on the way we've done the cookie here, guys, rather than doing all of that, you can just place a campfire one block underneath the floor and place two normal smokers on top if you want. It's entirely up to you. This is just to kind of give you a little bit of a different idea. Now, for the inside here, we're going to go ahead. We're going to put in a tap on there. We're going to place two of our item frames here. We're going to place one, two, three, I think, across this side here. Let's get a flower pot and we'll place one flower pot there, one flower pot there. This one over here, we're going to go ahead and put in a, um, a little flower there. And I think we'll just go ahead. Yeah, we'll put another flower in on this one. Let's put some food in these frames. I'll put in some jacket potatoes and some cooked mutton. Something like that. We can do the same for these ones over here. Something like that. I think that looks pretty good. Let's go ahead and put in a fence here. Just so it looks like this end of the cabinet here is supported. We could throw one in that corner as well if you wanted to. Um, let's go ahead. We'll put in a little lever here. to maybe somewhere to hang aprons for people who come inside here. And I think that actually looks pretty good. I like that. Um, let's just grab ourselves a water bucket and we can go ahead and just put water inside our sink over here. So I'm going to just fill one sink. I'll leave that one empty for now. I think that looks good like that. And then the last thing we need to do is put a door on the side here. So let's go ahead, get ourselves a spruce door and we'll place it right here from the inside. And I think that will do. If we come to through here, you can see we've got a nice little sort of serving hatch here for serving food. And I think that works perfect. Okay, let's head down this end and make a start on the bar. So where we have this first pillar here, we've got one, two, three blocks. We're going to place one again right on this side here. Then we're going to get rid of that block there and we're going to actually take this up as another pillar here. Now from this pillar here, we're going to go all the way over to the other one, which is directly in line with this pillar here. And we're going to just bring another one up to the ceiling. Again, this is the strip spruce log. Now get your spruce stairs and just in front, we're going to place one there upside down and we're going to bring it all the way across until we are one block gap from here. Place one here and then we're going to come sideways, put in a trap door as a little kind of entrance way to get in behind the bar. OK. OK, so that's the area for the bar. Now, I think for this bit here, we're going to go ahead and we're going to actually just put another beam all the way across the very top just here, just like this. And then I think we'll get an upside down stair, place one there, another one here. And then I think we're just going to go ahead and put a trap door underneath here like this on each side, just to add that little bit of detail. Now on here, I'm going to place one here, one of our uh, flower pots here and a flower pot here. These kind of look a little bit like beer mugs, so I think they work pretty well. Then we're going to get our dark oak stairs and behind the bar here, come to the back. We're going to place one stair going that way. Then we're going to go one, two, three, I think four. And then we're going to turn in this way just here. And in fact, no, we're going to leave the two gap there. Let's go like that. OK, so we've got three in the middle and then one on the corner. So five in total. Let's place a couple of barrels down here. We we'll place two barrels here, leave a one block gap, place another one there. We'll put a tap or a trip wire hook on that one and a trip wire hook on there to look like some taps. Then just place some of your flower pots here to look like mugs. I think that looks pretty good. And then on this side here, what have we got? We've got that there. Over here, hmm, maybe we can make some shelf in. So let's put some barrels down the bottom. We'll put some shelf there and a shelf in just there like that. Um, we'll put one of those, a flower pot there, a flower pot on there. And 
yeah, I think that will do for the moment. So now if we come on the outside here, we're going to go ahead and put in a dark oak slab here and a dark oak slab here with a trap door behind it. Making sure it's a dark oak trap door. And these are got little bar stools up at the bar. And I think that looks pretty cozy. Okay, now I think this is looking pretty nice. So let's just grab a few things just to make a little bit more details here. Okay, for details here, we're going to keep it fairly simple. So let's go inside here. I'm going to just quickly put a block just there. And we're going to put a little paint in there. Then we can break that one. Um, I think I'm just going to stick with the one paint in there for now. We'll go ahead and we'll put in a couple of flower pots just like this. Um, this flower pot up here is going to actually have flowers in it just like that. We'll put in another... Uh, let's put in some turtle eggs just here just to look like a little bit of a decoration and then yeah I think that's looking pretty good now I'm gonna put in an item frame here here and then one here and I think we'll just put in like some potions to make it look like they're different drinks over here we're gonna put a composter maybe just like a little sort of bin just for any just dispose of anything that they don't need and then I think I think that is looking pretty good. I think one last thing we're going to add in here is maybe a chest. And we'll just throw that up there. I know it can't open because of the ceiling, but it's just for decorational purposes. Maybe we'll put one there as well. Yeah, that works good. Okay, yeah, I like that. And I think maybe we could get away with a painting just behind there as well. Yeah, that looks good. Let's go ahead and just put something like that there. Yeah, I think that looks good. Okay, right. Now, let's go ahead and start working on some of the ceiling details. Because before we get in all of the, the sort of stuff down here that gets in our way, it'd be nice to finish off some of the ceiling here with some beams. Okay, before we do anywhere else, let's actually do the ceiling inside the little um, part of the bar here. So I'm going to go ahead and put some slabs across this side. I'm going to bring some slabs across here. We'll get rid of this lantern for one second. In fact, let's get rid of those ones and we'll put the slabs across the corner like this. Yep, that is good. Then we're going to put in a lantern, I think, here and a lantern just on this side here. And just to make it a bit random, I'm going to place a dark oak trapdoor like this in a kind of sort of checkered pan, something like that. I think that looks pretty good. Something like that, just to make it look a bit different. If you wanted to, you could also put a spruce one in the gaps that you can, but obviously you can't put them where the lanterns are. Something like that. It just looks a little bit different. If you don't like, if you don't like them, you can just remove them and leave them as they are, guys. It really don't matter. It's no big deal. If you don't like it, you can have it just like this. So it's up to you how you guys want to have it. I think either way looks pretty good. Okay, now for the main bar here, we're going to actually start placing beams. So we're going to go every other block all the way across. So we're going to go these ones here. Then it's going to be here, here, and just every other block all the way until you get to this side just here. And then just take them all the way across to the other side. So let's go ahead and get those all in place. Okay, once your beams are all in place, just head over to where your stairway is here and just break these slabs and this stair here and just bring a beam all the way across like this just to make it look a little bit neater. Now, we're going to go ahead and I think what we'll do is we've got a lantern right in the middle here. I think what we'll do is we're going to get rid of that lantern and we're going to place one so we've got one that side there we're going to place one here and one here and i think we're going to skip it and then we'll do it on the next one so we're going to skip one area each time okay so we we'll skip that one we we'll do one there and one there 
skip this one we'll do one there one there skip this one so if we skip that we're going to just get rid of those ones there and then we're going to place one here one here now because we've got one here i'm going to go ahead and what have we got we've got two block gap so i guess we could put one here and then one on that side there just to brighten it up okay that's looking pretty good we've got quite a nice area here it's pretty bright as well which is good that's what we want now in the gaps here we're gonna put upside down stairs like this okay like this obviously we can't in this one here we've got a lantern um so we could we could get rid of that lantern it won't matter it's only that one there and then this one here we're gonna put them down this side do the same on the opposite side and then we're gonna go ahead and place them underneath those beams on this one here, we've already got this little upside down stair here. So we're going to leave that one there. But we can go ahead and do it on the others like this. We've got windows here. So we're going to ignore them ones just there. We'll place one underneath that one. Then we're just going to bring them underneath the rest like this. This little area here I'm going to leave. But I am going to place one diagonally just like that. Okay. So just go ahead and do the same with yours. Okay, let's start by adding in some tables. So first of all, let's head over towards the bar here. And we're going to start by placing a table here. So we're going to put in a slab here and a slab here, which is three blocks from the corner here. Let's go ahead. Let's put a barrel on that corner there. I just feel like it needs to maybe standing upwards just like that. Then we're going to go ahead. We're going to place one, two, three slabs like this slab here, slab here. Then we're going to put a trap door here, two behind these chairs here, and then two behind these chairs here. And there we go, we've got one little table there. Now, just while I remember, guys, we're going to go ahead and get our trap doors and we're going to place them just at the top here, just in front of the upside down stairs that sit along those beams. Okay, just only where we have the stair though. Okay, where you have the stair underneath, just place it in front. Um, and we'll do one there as well. In fact, that's there. We're going to go there. Let's face that one that way. I think that will look a bit better. Right, okay. That's table number one. Let's go ahead. I think we'll put another table over here. So, over here, we've got a fair bit of room. Actually, we'll start with this gap here where we've got the two little two windows. So, right in the middle here, we're going to go one two three four five then we're gonna go from the corner we go one two three one two three and again with the trap doors place one on the end and we're gonna just run ourselves down here there we go got a bit of a long table in that gap there now i want to get a table i think we could get a table here one no we can't there it has to be this one here one two three if we've done four it might be a bit tight getting in so yeah we'll do three we'll put a trap door here two seats here two seats here and then we just put in our trap doors behind them see if we can do this there we go you might need to crouch as you get onto that slab there in order to be able to place the trapdoor so there we go okay so one table there one table there and a table over there we're gonna be having this bit here as a serving hatch so we can't really block off here with another table i don't think we could maybe one two three and then maybe have just a couple of seats here no i think that is too much i think that's kind of just in the way let's leave it open i think this looks pretty good as it is open we don't need too many yeah i think that i do 
Okay, right, so now we just wanna add in some decorations. I'm gonna put in a jukebox just there. Um, I wanna just make it feel like it's being used. Let's put in a barrel just there. Over this corner here, let's put in just a few, a few barrels, maybe something like that. We'll get rid of that one there. Let's put in a composter there with some leaves on top. Um, could we get away of having one here as well? Yeah, I think that looks all right. That don't look too in the way. I think over here, we're going to go ahead and we'll have one, I think about here. But I think what I might do here is I might just put in a barrel just next to it. Oh no, that looks that looks out of place. Yeah, maybe we just we'll get rid of that for a second. We're gonna put that there, leaf on top, and we'll have the jukebox one over just here. Yeah. I think that looks pretty good, guys. So now we're just gonna basically decorate this all. So we wanna just decorate some of the tables, add a bit of carpet. And then one other thing we're going to do is do a little bit of detail on the ceiling because this is this is nice. Don't get me wrong. But one thing I like to do is add my leaves in. I know you guys know what I'm like with my leaves. So I'm going to just place a few little areas like this on the ceiling. Yeah. So about four or five clumps together. Not loads. Just a few. Yeah. One, two, maybe one more up there. Like that, just a little gap okay and then once you've done that you can go ahead and maybe just put in sorry i keep standing on that trap door there place in like a one or two just little uh, fence posts like this it just adds a little bit of extra detail something like that we don't want too many of these like i said just a few it just i don't know it just makes it feel a little bit more kind of rustic and a little bit more fitting something like that Yeah, maybe one more somewhere just around here. So again, something kind of like that. Yeah, I think that's good. Okay, so now anywhere in the ceiling that we've got an area like a little gap, what I like to do is I like to just put in some of the trapdoors like this. Just for a kind of little added bit of detail. Now, it's up to you if you guys want to do it. It doesn't add a huge amount of detail, but it's just a little small little detail just to keep those gaps hidden. And you can twist them like this to make it look a little bit more kind of roughed up so that it don't look so clean. Be careful where you're standing because obviously we've got a lot of slabs and stuff in here. So it might be a little bit awkward getting some of these in place. Okay, now just for the final details on the ground floor here, guys, I'm going to go ahead and add in some green carpet. And again, I'm going to do what I usually do by just making it a little bit messy. I just feel like it just fits the medieval theme when it's a little bit messy and broken up. So just randomly sort of run your carpet around. It hasn't got to be perfect in any, any way. Yeah, something kind of like that, guys. It hasn't got to be too perfect or anything like that. Just however you feel that it looks best. Okay, so just play around with the carpet, place it all in. On the tables, all I generally tend to do is place in a couple of item frames, place in a cup in the middle. You can put a, a flower pot in the middle because it looks a bit like a cup. Um, but if you want to, you could also put a flower inside it. I'm going to leave it as that. And then I'm going to go ahead, put a steak on there, maybe a cookie on this one. There we go. Then I think over here, let's go ahead. We've got quite a big table here. Maybe there's a big group of people. Let's put a cake there. We could go ahead and put in a couple of item frames, something like that. Maybe a flower pot on the corner. And again, maybe this person's just finishing off some fish. Maybe this person's got a cookie. Yeah, something like that. And Finally, I think we'll do something like, in fact, we'll do, in fact, let's put some turtle shells on there. No, turtle shells. There we go. And we'll put in a cup just there. And then this guy, um, he can have a steak. There we go. 
yeah i think that looks pretty cool guys i'm actually pretty happy with the way this one's shaped up and again if you want to just add anything to fill in any details then feel free to you know play around and make it your own okay that's the ground floor all in place let's go to our stairway and let's head upstairs to what is going to be part of the inn Okay, before we do anything on this floor, the first thing we're going to do is add some lighting and then we're going to go ahead and fill in the next floor. And so using your spruce planks right here above this beam, which is one, two, three, four, five. We're on the sixth block above. Okay, and we're just going to go ahead and fill in the floor here and fill it in all the way down here in this gap here um, just to fill our floor out so that we've got our next level. Okay, once your ceiling's all in place, we can go ahead and start making a few plans here. So first of all, if we come over to here, we've got this random beam here in the way. So let's go ahead and just get rid of that for the moment. Now, heading back to where the stairs are, we're going to go ahead and as we come up the stairs on the right-hand side, from this pillar here, we're going to go one, two, three. On the fourth block, we're going to place in a stripped, oak log, a stripped spruce log, okay? Then we're going to place three white concrete in that gap and then one, two, three, oh, three, four, five, all the way to the corner there. Break that one there. That's going to be the doorway. Now, at this point here, we're going to have a stairway going up on this side. Then I think what we do is on the opposite side here, we're going to go one, two, three, four. We're going to place a beam just here like this. Then I think we can go ahead and get rid of this beam. Yes, we can. Then we're going to go down this side here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then I think here we're going to go across this side here like this. All the way to this corner. Make sure you don't open that block there. Okay, now at this point here, I think we're going to just bring this all the way down and join with this pillar here. From here, we're going to bring it all the way over and join to this one. And then we're going to leave a three block gap, I think, and then bring this all the way down to this side. Now we're going to divide this into bedrooms. So let's go ahead and we're going to place a pillar just here. And I guess for this one here, we can go ahead and add a doorway, I think, about there. Then this one here, we're going to have two bedrooms on this side. So let's divide this one here. We'll put in a doorway just there and a doorway just there. At the end here, we're going to have a bit of a larger bedroom. So we'll put one doorway just there. And then on this side here, we'll make this two small bedrooms. So we'll have one doorway here and one doorway here. Yeah, something like that. Or we could go ahead and do that. And then that way we've got two or two and two. Just kind of neatens up the walls a little bit. Okay, now if you wanted to, you could use this one as a pillar here. And I think that looks pretty good. I'm pretty happy with that layout. So guys, just in case you didn't get what we've done, we've done a three block gap here, one pillar, and then take it all the way to the wall. Here, we've got a four block pillar. And then one, two, three, four, five, six blocks pillar, which should line up with this pillar. And then we filled in the blocks from that pillar all the way across to the pillar on the other side, placing a door in that gap there. That leaves us a three wide walkway all the way down. OK, so we've got three wide walkway here and all the way around here. Now, from this one here, we actually from the pillar here where we just done this one coming across here, we've got a three block there. From that fourth one there, we bring that all the way down here, lining up with the wall that we put all the way across from this side. So from this pillar to this pillar here. OK, so hopefully that is kind of easy enough for you guys to see and follow. Now we're going to go ahead and we're going to fill this all in. So we're going to just basically fill the white concrete all the way to the ceiling and the same with the spruce pillars. We're going to just fill them all the way to the ceiling. And we're going to do that all the way throughout all of these walls here. OK, so let's go ahead and get them in place. Now, 
Now, just before I move any further, guys, if I have left an area for a door, just leave a two block high gap like this, okay, so that you get a doorway, okay? But make sure that you go around and you do the whole lot. So anywhere you have your doorway, just make sure you leave your two block like this, okay? Just like that, okay? But fill everything else all the way up to the ceiling. Okay guys, now that our walls are all in place, I've just gone ahead and added some lights on the ceiling, keeping them into the center of the pathway here. Okay, so there are about five blocks gaps roughly between them. Okay, keeping them on the center of this three block path because we're gonna now add a little bit of detail just around the edge here. So if we go to where our stairs are, starting just here, place upside down stairs all the way around this edge here. Then we're gonna run it all the way down, around this corner, curve it around this little corner in here then we're going to just basically go all the way back once we get to here we're going to just continue all the way down curve it around this corner and for now we're just going to stop just there this one here we're going to bring it around this corner here bring it over to here and for now we're just going to stop there okay now that's all in place let's go ahead and make a stairway to the next floor so where the stairway is here, we're going to come to this corner here. We're going to place one stair, two stair, three stair, and then a four stair. We're going to break that block there and then one, two, and three, just like this. Behind this one here, we're going to place a four block, which is level with the stair. Then break one, two, and three. And we're going to put in a stair there and a stair there, which is going to bring us all the way up to the top here. Now, before we do anything else, let's move down here and we're just going to just corner this off. So let's just go with our upside down stairs underneath these, just like that. And in fact, we're going to go ahead, I think, break that block there, put a four block. Then we're going to put a stair there and I think an upside down stair just there like that. Okay. Then we're going to go with our trap doors against all of our normal stairs like this. Then from the inside here, we're going to go one, two, three, and we could do a fourth one as well, I guess, all the way down to here. And I think we might just add one more there just to just give that little detail on that corner there. It's up to you. You haven't got to add that last one, but I think that just finishes it off nicely. At the top here for now, I'm just going to go ahead, place two trap doors just here and then one trap door just there. Let's put another light in here. And we'll work out what we're going to do up here a little bit later on. Okay, so now that we've got that all in place, let's go ahead. We can add a corner stair there and I think one there. And then I think we're just going to face one inwards like that just to kind of finish off that corner. And that should give us plenty of room to still walk up here with no issues. Okay, now for every bedroom, we're going to go ahead and we're going to place in an upside down spruce stair like this for all the doorways. This doorway here leads us to the balcony, so don't worry about that one. But all the other doorways that we have in place, let's put an upside down spruce stair in that gap there. Something like this, just for that little bit of extra detail. Now it's just about decorating it up the way you kind of like it guys. There's no right or wrong way of really decorating it. So for me, I'm going to go ahead with some of the, um, what is called the beehives. I think these are really cool for decoration. These work really good and they break it up so that we don't have so much dark oak all the time. So we can add in a little bit of a lighter color, but it blends nicely with the spruce. So we'll put some of those just there. This side down here, I think. Let's just put three of them in about there. And then I think, yeah, I think that looks good. I don't want to cover up too much here because it's going to block the walkway off as you come up the stairs. We don't want to do that. Okay, now before we do any further details, I think we can go ahead and put some doors from the inside. So I'm going to use a spruce door and we're going to place it from the inside like this. Okay, so that it has that little indentation at the front. Okay, let's go ahead and do that for all of the bedroom doors.
Okay, now it's just a matter of making the place look nice. So let's start by adding in a few composters with some flower pots maybe. Let's put one just here by the stair and we're just gonna do a one high like this. Um, I think as we come over here, we could go ahead, maybe put a composter about there, one on it. We'll come down this side here in the corner. Let's put one about there. And maybe even one just here. I think that looks good. Now, we're going to add, add a few paintings. What do we have here? We've got a two high. So let's do that. And we can put in maybe a two high painting just there across the wall. Yeah, I think that looks pretty good. Around here, we've got quite a bit of room here, actually. Let's go ahead and we can put in a couple of two single block paintings like this. Yep, that looks good. And anywhere else you feel that you can fit a painting, go ahead and do so. I think again here we could do it. Something kind of like that. I think that's good. On the um, on the beehives here, I'm gonna just put some spruce buttons. It just makes it feel like a kind of like a little cabinet. And then just kind of decorate it as you please. I'm gonna go ahead and put in. I think a flower. Actually, we'll put the flower on this side. Something like that. Let's put in a flower pot there, just like so. Yeah, that looks good. Okay, a couple of other little details that we can add is obviously we can use the sea pickles and we can also use the turtle eggs. So let's go ahead and use a few of those. And we're going to grab some barrels as well because I want to add a little bit of storage so it looks like it's um, just like it's being used. So we can add maybe a couple of turtle eggs. Actually, we'll put them on that side, something like that. And then maybe some sea pickles on this one, just as a little decoration. Yeah, this is looking good. Underneath the stairs here, this is going to be a storage room sort of little location so we can just throw in some barrels something like this maybe let's put in a loom block there maybe one there maybe even one at the top there um and in fact let's make it a little bit more let's bring it out by one more i know it'll block the window off by one but you won't see that from the outside and then we'll put in another flower pot like so yeah, and I think that will actually do the job. Nice. Okay, um, I think one last little thing we're going to do here is get ourselves some green carpet. You can use any color carpet here, guys. It doesn't matter, but I do like the green carpet. I just think it feels like the right medieval sort of tone. There we go. I think that feels pretty good. I like that. Okay, and I think... I think we're probably going to stick with that. We could go ahead and see if we can get one more painting in here. Maybe a too high one up there. I'm not a fan of the big four by uh, two by two paintings. Um, I'm not a fan of many of the paintings, to be honest, but these ones probably look better to me. Yeah, OK, I like that. I think that's looking good. Okay, now for the bedrooms, guys. Now, the bedrooms are going to be very simple. They are very small. So, we'll go ahead and we'll start with this one just here. Okay, let's start by adding a little bit of lighting in here. So, first of all, we're going to go around the ceiling with our upside down stairs. Something like that. And then, I think we'll put in a lantern there and a lantern there. Just to make it feel a bit brighter in here. Okay, so I think we'll have two beds like this directly underneath that first window. We'll put in some bookshelves each side there. Here we're going to have a couple of the barrels. Let's add a few shelves, so maybe something like that. And maybe even something all the way across there. We can go ahead and put in a flower on those two maybe. And yeah, I think that looks pretty good. So... Let's go ahead on the window. We're going to put in a green banner to look like a little blind. Um, 
And yeah, I want to keep these fairly simple, not, not too much on the detail side. So let's go ahead, maybe put in a flower, something like that. And then I think maybe just a couple of the turtle eggs, just for a final little detail here. So maybe we just put some of those up there. And last but not least, maybe just a couple of paintings. So we'll just grab our paintings as well again. And we can use a couple of those in here. So I think we could maybe go, let's do this. Let's go one here and then we'll do one about there. So we can go one there, one there. Yeah, something like that. And if you wanted a bit of extra light, you could add in another lantern down here. It's entirely up to you guys. And I think that looks pretty good. It's a nice, simple little bedroom here. Okay, that's bedroom number one. This bedroom here is actually a bit bigger than the other rooms. So we'll make this one a little bit more special. So let's start first of all by running our stairs around the ceiling. Just like this. Now, underneath the window here, we've actually got a free wide window here. So what I'm going to actually do is I'm going to get some of the white wall. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to just make a little bit of a nicer bed. Let's get rid of that. And we'll put three beds in front like this. Let's go ahead, grab the lantern here, and we're going to put two right in the middle there, okay, for the lighting. Then I guess we could put in a barrel here, two barrels at this side. This corner over here, I think we're just going to add a little cupboard. So let's go one, two, and we'll go three with our trap doors. We can open those. Then we're just going to put in two barrels like this and then we should be able to actually get our doors here and we're from the inside here we can place two of them just like this and there we go. So now we should be able to put two barrels there like that. Let's close those for a moment. We'll get in our trap doors. Let's put two of those across there. On the top here let's just put a little flower pot up there for now. And inside this door here, we're going to get an armor stand. And we can go ahead and put some armor in there. Now, I'm not going to put no armor on the armor stand for now. I'm going to leave it as it is. But you guys can go ahead and put any armor on there of your choice. Over this side of the room, let's go ahead, put two shelves there, two shelves there. And yeah, I think we're going to leave it at that for the shelves. I don't think I'm going to put anything underneath because we just make this room a little bit cramped couple of flower pots just like this we'll put a couple of those on there a couple of those there and yeah i think that's looking good right let's go ahead and we'll put in a too high paint in here there we go one like that and then i think let's see can we get a single one there there we go I'm not sure if that looks right. That looks a little bit strange. We'll leave that one. Yeah, okay. And then I guess we can just add in a few flowers or saplings into the flower pots. Something like that. And I think that looks pretty good. Nice and simple again. Nothing too much, you know. But we're just trying to keep it nice and simple in here. One thing we can do, because this is the little bit more of an expensive room, we can actually go down and choose one of the fan corals here i think probably this one or this one works best so we've got the horn the dead horn coral fan place it around the bed here to look a little bit like a fluffy rug we can't get it on that corner but that's okay it's fine or you can use this one whichever one you feel looks more fitting Uh, yeah, I think that was pretty good. Okay, yeah, I think that will do, guys. We don't, like I said, we don't want to overdo these as bedrooms, you know, because they're only little tavern rooms, so we just want to keep them nice and simple. One last thing we will do, though, is put up a couple of blinds or a couple of curtains. Um, we could do something. Does that look too much? 
No, I think that looks okay. We're going to leave it at that. So there we go. We've got some curtains. Okay, so that's one bedroom, two bedroom. Let's go to this one here, which is the first bedroom on the right hand side. And this one's a pretty small room here. So what I think we're going to do is we're going to go a bed there. We'll put another bed over this side. Um, we'll go ahead and we'll get some of the barrels. Let's put a couple of barrels in the middle. We'll put in a single painting, I think, just there. Like so. We can put a lantern right about there. Let's do another painting on this side, one about there. And again, like we did with the other rooms, we're going to run the stairs around the top of the ceiling. And again, if you want, you could put a couple of lanterns at the top there. I think we're going to leave it like that, guys. I think just simple. Maybe we put one of those in the corner there. And if we've got some leaves, yep. Let's grab our leaves. And boom. Yeah, that looks pretty good. In fact, that might actually be nice in the expensive room here as well. Yeah, we could shift that one over. Get rid of that flower pot there. We could put one in here. Maybe a tall one, something like that. Just to make the room feel a little bit more, a little bit more grand. Okay, so yeah, we got that one done there. This one here, again, we're going to do another very simple room in here. And just like before again, guys, we're going to do our upside down stairs around for the ceiling. A couple of lanterns at the top there. Again, I think we'll go with a couple of beds. We'll put that there. On the side here, I think we're just going to pile up a few of the barrels. Something like that for them to use. And again, we don't want to go too crazy in here. We'll add a flower pot. Maybe a couple of the banners as blinds. So we can get or blinds or curtains. One there, one there. And yeah, maybe just a little painting. So let's go maybe painting there. Yeah. I think that looks good. Okay, these little bedrooms here are going to be very similar, guys. The same kind of idea. And don't do what I've done here, guys, and miss one of your walls. Make sure you get all of these walls in place. There we go. Right, okay, so first of all, this guy here again. Stairs around the ceiling. And then I guess lanterns, we could just do something like that. And then in here, let's do, we'll do a double bed in here. We'll do a double bed in here. We'll have a bookshelf on each side, flower pot on one of them. Um, banner on the window for a little blind. Little utility space here. Let's put in, we can get in a little wider one here. So let's go ahead, let's put something there and we'll go like that. And yeah, there's um, there's not much to really do, I don't think, in this room here. Maybe we can get some shelves. And we'll put in a couple of sea pickles on the shelf. So a couple of shelves. We could put a couple of sea pickles. And why not, for a change, let's go ahead and use a chest. We don't use these very much anymore. So yeah, we'll have a chest there. Okay, I think that will do. Again, in here, let's do something something similar. So it's a bit dark in here. Let's go ahead and do something like that for the ceiling. Add out stairs all the way around, just like so. Then I think we'll have a double bed in the corner this time. Two of those just there. We'll have one of those there. Um, over here for something different, let's have a table, like a table, like so. Again, we can have a flower pot on there. Painting, we can get one in around here, I think. 
And then, again, not really much else we can really do. Let's put a little, a little chest in the corner, maybe. A couple of those, and then why not just add a couple of saplings, like so. Yep, and I think that one will do again. Maybe actually we could do a shelf. We ain't got no shelf in here. Let's see if we can add a little shelf. So we'll go with maybe something like that and that. And then again, um, we'll change it up. Let's use the turtle legs. One thing I wish we had was more decorations. We don't have many decorations. If Minecraft were going to do an update, I would say do a decoration and update. Something where we can have loads more decorations for the game. So maybe that. And let's just go with another flower. Yeah, I think that one will do. Okay, I think we've got one more room, which I think is this one here. And this one, oh, this one's another big room. We've got a bit of a bigger room here again. So, again, before we do anything, let's go ahead and get some light in here. Because it's actually very dark in here again. So, let's actually leave those lanterns on the ground for the moment. Right, this one actually has part of the roof here. So, that might go through. So, what we do is we'll get our planks and we'll end the floor for the room right about here. So what we'll do is make sure you add a couple of lanterns up here because it will get dark and we can use that as part of the next floor. Just like so. Again, we're going to add our stairs all the way around the top edge. Okay, this is quite a big room actually. So we could go ahead and put in... How much room do we have here? Quite a bit. Let's go ahead and we can use some of the... Actually, do you know what? We're going to stick with the planks. We're going to go three of those across there. Then we're going to place three beds. Then we'll have an upside down stair at each side like this. And then maybe we'll just make a bit of a shape like this for the headboard. You know, a bit like a, you know, it's not a king's bed, but it's a little bit more grand than what we have in the other rooms. Something like that. I think that looks pretty good. Okay, over this side here, let's just add some barrels down the side there. Then I think we're going to need some shelves. So we'll do two and maybe two. Oops, make sure it's on the right one. For the ceiling, we're going to do a lantern, a lantern, and a lantern. And then I guess just some decorations as you please. Over this side here, we've probably got enough room actually again to make a little cupboard. So let's go ahead. There we go. Otherwise, it's just going to keep getting in the way of that door there. We'll put in one of those just there. We'll also go ahead and on top of that, we're going to place a trap door. Here, if we can get into this side here, we can place two trap doors like this. And then if we can get to it, we can get one more just on top there. One more on top there. We'll place a couple of barrels and we'll also put in a couple of the trap doors to cover it up. So to get into the barrels, you would just literally have to open those. Inside here, we'll go barrel barrel and then this side we'll get ourselves another armor stand that can go in there there we go it's a little bit tight in here guys i'm not gonna lie it is a little bit tight but i think it's okay maybe if we can fit them so let's see what we can do let's go a flower pot put in bump flower pot and that and then i guess we could go Let's do two single paintings like this. So one there, one there. Yeah, I like that. Okay, yeah, I think that's pretty good. I like that. It is a little cramped in there, guys. I'm not going to lie. And I was thinking about putting some of that fluffy rug around the edge, but I think that might just... That might just be a bit too much in here. It might just fill the room up a tiny bit too much. So I think we're going to just leave it at that. 
Okay, right, that is all of the bedrooms done. We've got all the bedrooms done now. So now we can move on to the final floor, which is upstairs. Now this room, this area up here, guys, I think is gonna be best as more of a, just a storage area. Um, let me just quickly work out because we've got the hallway and then down to the left. So is there an area that we can break through to that little bit? Yeah, there is right there. Okay, so if you come down to the end, that should actually meet up more or less with the end. So if we go one block in. Okay, no, it needs to be two blocks. So two blocks in from this end, we can break this bit here. We'll break it out for what we can see for this bit of the roof. So we can break it three blocks high. So if you come down to this end, come two blocks in, break it across, and then once you can go underneath it, just break it so it's three blocks high, matching up with the walls on both sides. And then this side, I guess, just fill the gap like this. Right, okay. So we can actually do something a little bit different here. Let's go ahead, first of all, let's replace this flooring bit here with some planks. And I think what we do, we can go ahead, first of all, and bring some of the spruce up to that gap there. Now, we're not going to really have an awful lot that we can really fit into this area because it's going to be quite narrow. So I think what we're going to actually do is we're going to actually bring this one up in one in front like this as well. Okay. Now behind it, we might as well just fill with the black. That's fine. Down this end here, we can do the same thing. So fill these up with, it doesn't really matter. I mean, we can just use spruce planks. Don't use the concrete, it, you know, it's much more expensive. Just use any block of your choice to just stick behind here. Now, what have we got? We've got a three block gap. So we could do another, Three block gap, bring a pillar up here. A three block gap, bring a pillar up. Three block gap, bring a pillar up. And then I think I might leave that bit there so that we can actually get up the stairs without any issues. Yeah, we'll leave that like that. Now, over on the opposite side here, I'm going to go ahead, I think... Let me just, let me do this. Let's go across to this side here and put in another four block high pillar. Yeah. Leave a three block gap, which brings us to here. And then I think I'm just going to put one here. And then in the gap, we'll go ahead with the planks. Bring it all the way up. And then just go ahead and just fill this area behind it. Just so we don't get no mob spawning or put some torches behind there. It's entirely up to you. Let's fill that little gap behind there. Something like that. And again, of course, down this end here, we'll do this. And I think we're just going to wrap it around in this little area here. It's a bit dark here, guys. I do apologize. And then we're going to do it across here as well. All the areas where we have the two block gap. Let's put another pillar here and then one here as well, lining it up with the ones on the opposite side. Okay. Then we're going to do one here. And then finally, we're going to do one just here as well. Okay. Now this being the top floor, guys, I thought maybe we could have storage up here and maybe an area for the owners to sleep. So being where the owners can sleep, we've got a room area there. We've got a room area in here. So I think what would work good would be maybe if we section some of this off. So we could have a storage bit at the front here. But from this first room here, let's just fill the wall at this side with some spruce planks. In line with the pillars, bring it all the way down. And then we'll put an upside down stair there for our doorway. Okay. So now we can just go into here and this is going to be where the owners will sort of stay. 
So if the owners are going to stay in here, let's put a pillar in this corner here. We'll put a pillar in this corner here. And we'll turn this into a little bit of some kind of bedroom, I think. So we'll put some white wall across the back there. And then three beds just in front like this. And then a flower pot at each side with a flower in it. On the block where the first concrete block is this, we've got a four block pillar across here. We're going to bring a pillar and we're going to bring it on every other block across. Just like this. Underneath here, let's just put in an upside down stair and upside down stair there. In fact, you know what? Bring the upside down stairs all the way across. Then we're putting upside down stairs in those gaps. Same again in here. And then what I'm going to do is fly up here and I'm actually going to go ahead and I'm going to just fill this area with some planks or some blocks of your choice. It doesn't really matter. Um, just make sure you fill the center point here with planks because they will be seen on the inside. And then we're just going to place some lanterns across like that. Okay, I think that's looking pretty good. Now, we're just going to keep the inside here again very basic. So let's get ourselves some trapdoors. And the trapdoors, we're just going to bring those all the way across the top here. And then just close them down so we can cover up some of that, um, some of that dark grey concrete from the roof. There we go. I mean, that looks pretty nice already. It, it looks pretty good. I kind of like that. Okay, right. Now, if that's the case for that, let's see. Can we get a little bit of storage here? I think we'll use just some barrels for this. And then maybe we can add a couple of shelves. Barrels, two there and two there. And then we won't actually be able to add anything else thinking about it because we ain't going to have the room. We're just going to block this all in if we do. So let's break that one and up here we're going to just bring this all the way around. Upside down stair there and this will be maybe the parents bedroom. Okay, just something simple. So over here we'll put a wither skeleton head just on there. And then over here we'll go ahead and we'll just put some of those. There we go. Something simple. Um, yeah, and I think that'll do, guys. I, don't, I really don't want to overdo it with the top part here. Now, in here, we can have another little bedroom. So, in here, we'll have maybe a room for the kids. So, let's go ahead and put some planks all the way across this gap here. Let's just break some of these all the way out like this. Let's go two layers that weren't supposed to be on that third layer. Just two layers like this, okay? Again, I'm going to just grab a lantern and just put it in here because it's a bit dark. Now, this edge here is actually part of the roof as well. So we can't go past that. So I guess, again, with planks, we'll just bring some of those across here. Maybe we'll do something like that on this side. Okay, and we can use this as a little decoration point. Um, we'll get a beam at the front. Was that at the front? Yeah, we can put a beam across here for the moment. Um, and in fact, what have we got? We've got a free, free block gap area. I'll tell you what, we're going to actually just bring a beam all the way across this side. This is the little part in between the two rooms. A beam across here. Above here, we're just going to go ahead and fill it with some planks in the gaps. I do apologize, guys. I know it's a bit dark up here. Let me um, just put some torches up here so you guys can see actually what I've done. Okay, so just filled in the gaps and two beams. So if we head back, there's a the stairs there. As soon as we come through here, this is what we've got. Okay. Right, that's looking pretty good for now. So I think let's just put some blocks in there and some blocks in there. We can place those like that. Turn on that corner. 
One, two, three across there and turn on that corner. One, two, and then turn. Turn there and then three across here. And then one, two, three, we'll replace that with a beam of sorts, just for now anyway. Right, okay, so if we're going to do a kid's bedroom in here, I guess we could maybe put a pillar in the corner like this with a strip spruce logs. Could put a bed, crouch, place a bed on top. Let's get ourselves some of the spruce trapdoors. Place two of them like this. Yeah, and I think that will do. Let's put a couple of flower pots in here with some flowers on. We could put in a torch or a lantern just there. In here, I'm just going to put a beam on every other block again coming across. All the way like that. And again, in the gaps in the ceiling, just fill it with some spruce planks or something if there's any gaps. And then in the gaps underneath, we can then go ahead and put in the trapdoors like this. Okay, just to neaten that bit off. And in fact, on the corners, it's gonna this is really awkward to actually do, but we're gonna actually have to put stairs on that side, stairs on this side, just so we can cover up some of the gray. And then trapdoors are gonna just have to run. Actually, no, trapdoors can run underneath the stairs. And then we'll put a stair to hold the beam underneath like so and again on this side trapdoors in those gaps and i guess we could just put in a lantern on those two yeah that looks pretty good so let's just imagine that there's a ladder going up to get onto the beds and then we can put a sign there and a sign just there okay something like that um, a little bit of storage on here. Again, we'll put it with a skeleton head. Maybe we can put that behind there just to make it look like a bit of a bookshelf. Maybe even behind that one as well. Okay, and I think that one will do for there. Let's go ahead and we'll put some planks in here. Again, we may actually have to compromise some of the stuff we got here just out of the way. Upside down stair there. Okay, that's good. Let's get some doors. And again, I'm going to go... Well, let's just use the dark oak door here just to break it up because we've got so much spruce everywhere. Dark oak door there. We'll do one from the inside of this room. And then one from inside here. Just like that. Okay, now guys, it might go... Oh no, we've got the lanterns on the floor. It should be fine. Let's bring a beam all the way across here. And then I think what we'll do is we're going to go every other block. We're just going to put a lantern. In fact, we'll do every other block, leaving a three block gap in the middle. Like that. Okay, so there's two, two blocks gaps in the middle, but the others have one block between them. Okay, so up here, we just want to kind of make this like a bit of a living space now. So let's get rid of these lanterns. We'll make a bit of a kitchen in here. So let's put two barrels at each side. Two barrels, two barrels, and two barrels. Okay. Okay, so in here, I think what we're going to do is we're just going to go a smoker, a barrel, and then a cauldron over there. Put some water in the sink. Do a tap just there. Um, we'll put a couple more barrels here. I guess we can just go ahead and fill this little area here. Put a lantern underneath there. And while we can, let's get ourselves um, one of those. And I think that that will probably do as a little kitchen. Let's get ourselves a flower pot and we'll just add a little decoration. So we can go ahead and put a flower pot there. We'll put a bamboo stick in. Something like that. Maybe we'll get ourselves even a little brewing stand. 
And there we go. Okay, let's make ourselves a little table, I guess, because we ain't got no table. Let's put some upside down stairs across there. Um, okay, let's do a table kind of like what we've done downstairs. We'll make like a little bar. So let's use some slabs and some dark oak seats. So, do something like that. In fact, we'll just make it a small sort of one. One like this, a single table. Something like that. There we go. And then at the back there, we'll just go ahead and cover that up. Yeah, that should do the job. Let's get some more carpet. And we can change it up up here if you want. Use a bit of grey carpet or black carpet or any carpet of your choice. There we go. Just something like that to change it up just a little bit. Okay, right. I think that will do for in here. Again, over here, let's just get our trap doors. And in fact, you know what? No, we're going to make a little bookshelf area here. Okay, so I guess for here, let's just go ahead and just fill in some bookshelves. Something simple, just like this. And I think that will do, guys. We really don't need anything else up here. I think that will do. In this area over here, this is just going to be a storage area. So let's just bring beams across the gaps at the top here. So we should have a free block at the bottom. Join up to each pillar all the way across. Then we put a beam right above where this one is going across, right where we have the pillars, okay? Where we have these pillars. Um, and in fact, you know what? We can actually just do every other one. It will fit every other block. In fact, just there. Okay, and then underneath those, let's just go ahead and put in an upside down stair. Underneath this bit across here, I'm going to go ahead and just put in some upside down stairs. Same on the other side. Just like this. Now, above all of this, you just want to basically, it's going to be a bit awkward and we probably should have done it first of all. It's just to just fill this with some planks. Um, it would have been easier doing it before. So I do apologize, guys. But if you haven't done it, then go and do that first. Otherwise, just fill it in after the best you can. Okay, once you've got that in place, let's go ahead and we'll put in a lantern on every other block like this. Okay, let's get rid of these ones. Okay, now in this little area here, guys, this is just going to literally be a kind of storage area. So go ahead and do what you want with it. I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to put some shelves all the way across like this in the gaps um, for this one I'm gonna leave the one on the end here though just so we got some room when we come up the stairs um, I'm gonna just randomly put a couple of flower pots then we're gonna use a few chests we use some barrels as if they're being used for something um, we can put some beehives here maybe they're a bit of storage maybe even some of the um, the looms so something like that something like that barrel stand a barrel here just however just makes it feel like it's been used you know the key here is just to make it feel like it is a storage area more than anything so just any way that you think makes it look like a bit of a storage again without over cramping it you know it's nice to make it compact but not over cramping it and i think that is just about enough guys i think that does it let's put another little lantern there just to brighten up that area all right guys i think that just about does it let's go ahead and just throw in a couple more little um flowers just to add a bit of green in here because it's a it's a little bit messy there we go 
All right, cool. So we got the attic done and oh, we nearly missed a spot, guys. Upside down stairs in these gaps here. Cover up those gray bits of concrete and then again, turn around and do the opposite side as well. There we go. Anyway, guys, we're going to go ahead and wrap it up just there. So if you did enjoy it, don't forget to smash that like button. And also, I'm going to put a couple more videos on screen now, which are going to be very similar style to this one. So if you want to check those out, please be sure to do so. But for now, this is Blue Nerd signing out, and I will catch you guys in the next one.